fans of high quality entertainment. I am about to watch The Sparks Brother, a documentary directed by Edgar Wright, who you may know of from the movies Hot Fuzz and uh, Shaun of the Dead and many other fine movies. I've been a fan of Sparks since 1974, seeing them on the Midnight Special, uh, where they performed four songs from Kimono My House. I was awestruck. I was also very confused. <laughs> and so the very next day I ran out to the store and bought Kimono My House. And this story's been told a few times on my channel. I played the album and I proceeded to throw it in the garbage because I realized I don't like this. It's weird. But then I gave, I saw it, I saw it sitting in my garbage can and I was starting to feel sorry for the album and I took it back out. I, I gave it another chance and I've been a fan of Sparks ever since and I've seen them in concert three times in Toronto. The first time was in 1982. Uh, just two nights before they appeared on Saturday Night Live. And then I saw them during their solo tour in Toronto in whenever that was, just a few years ago. And also with FFS, which is uh, where they did a collaboration with the band Franz Ferdinand. I saw them in Toronto then too. So I've been a huge fan of Sparks for years and years and years. And it's about time. I got to watch a documentary on them. And after I watch it, I will give you a review. I hope I enjoy it. I'm all excited. I'm about to press play. Having some ginger ale. I'll see you in two hours and 20 minutes or so, but. So this is my review so far of Campbell's tomato soup. It is delicious and it's gluten-free. I'm actually, uh, it's weird, I, I paused the video to have some soup. Campbell's tomato soup, gluten-free. And I just realized I paused it where it says intermission. It's like halfway, like, look at this, look at this. That's where I paused without even knowing. I, I, knew, I knew it was a sign to go get some tomato soup gluten-free. So, so far, I am loving this documentary more then I, like I, I knew, I knew that I would not give it a bad review. I mean, it's Edgar Wright and it sparks. Come on, but I'm more impressed with it than I even thought it would be. So, so the second half after this intermission, it just goes downhill. <laughs> I'll be back. Bye. Hi there. I had to go to the washroom, but you don't need to know that. And there's about 10 minutes left. And then I will give you my review of the Sparks Brothers and Campbell's Tomato Soup Gluten-Free. Thank you. Well, that sucked. I'm just joking. Yeah. Uh, the documentary, it, it was... It was... A, it was emotional for me. I've been a huge fan of Sparks since 1974, and I feel, you know, they're they're they were a part of my life. They've been a part of my life since 1974, and it's just uh, so so cool to see, you know, them being spoken of by some of these other, you know, like Beck and. Uh, Mike Myers and Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers and uh, and, and I, if, if you're a fan of Sparks and you haven't seen the documentary, 
you are going to love it. If you don't, if you're, if you know who Sparks are and you're, you know, just kind of interested, I think you will be enlightened and you will enjoy the documentary for sure. And I, th I think the main thing, the, the, the basic story for, for the documentary is that they, they just did things, the, they did things their way for the most part. It didn't matter if you had a hit or you didn't have a hit. Uh, they were just they're just being creative and they continue to be creative. Edgar Wright, excellent. Like I said, I'm a huge Sparks fan and you did us Sparks fans proud. Ron and Russell, I, I was also very, very touched by near, near the beginning when uh, their, you know, their father sadly passed away when they were 11 and 8. And so that, that was very, that got to me because I lost my mom at a fairly early age. And so I understand the, the feelings they, they were expressing. Uh, but, and it goes through their whole career. I, I like that. It goes through each album. And it just shows you the mountain, the mountain of work that they've done in, in these years. And also, uh, the little lull in their career in the late 80s, early 90s, when even I, you know, being a Sparks fan, and there, you know, there was no internet in the 90s. I don't know if you know that or not, the early 90s. But uh, I thought they, they'd just given up. And, uh, but, you know, they were always working. And uh, it was just, uh, I would give it, a, I would seriously give it a, a 10 out of 10 and I'm going to watch it again because I have 48 hours to watch this <laughs> uh, and yeah excellent thank you and the tomato soup was good too thank you not as good as the Sparks Brothers documentary